solitude again command your hosts from heaven restored. Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is Night Prayer for Tuesday, April 29th. It's the first week in the Psalm Cycle and it's week two of Easter. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 11, and 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 13 to 25. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, source of all being, we have sinned through our own fault in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, in you I put my trust. Alleluia, Psalm 11. Alleluia, in you I put my trust. How can you say to my soul, fly like a bird to your mountain? For the wicked bend their bows, they make ready their arrows upon the strings to ambush those who are heavy in heart. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? You are in your holy temple, your throne is in heaven. Your eyes look down on the world and test the peoples of the earth. You love the righteous, but hate the wicked and violent. Upon the wicked shall rain snares, fire and brimstone, and a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. For you are just, and you love justice, and your face looks upon the upright. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. In you I put my trust. Alleluia. A reading from the first letter of Peter, chapter 1, beginning at verse 13. Therefore, prepare your minds for action. Discipline yourselves. Set all your hope on grace that Jesus Christ will bring you when he is revealed. Like obedient children, do not be conformed to the desires that you formerly had in ignorance. Instead, as he who called you is holy, be holy yourselves in all your conduct, for it is you shall it is written, you shall be holy, for I am holy. If you invoke as Father the one who judges all people impartially according to their deeds, live in reverent fear during the time of your exile. You know that you were ransomed from the futile ways inherited from your ancestors not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without defect or blemish. So he was destined before the foundation of the world, but was revealed at the end of the ages for your sake. Through him, you have come to trust in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are set on God. Now that you have purified your souls by your obedience to the truth, so that you have genuine mutual love, love one another deeply from the heart. You have been born anew, not of perishable, but of imperishable seed, through the living and enduring word of God. For all flesh is like grass, and all its glory like the flower of grass. The grass withers, and the flower falls. But the word of the Most High endures forever. 
The word is the good news that was announced to you. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Strengthen us in our pursuit of truth and justice. Dear God, that we may find favor in your sight and salvation at your hand. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Happy Easter.